Every once in a while, a really good 3D printer fades to the back of the studio that shouldn't. And I really need to do a better job at revisiting the machines I think are changing our industry. This is the Elegoo Centauri Carbon, and at 279, it might just be the best affordable Core XY 3D printer out there. Now, let's get into why this little sleeper may be worth your time and money. Now, I've already made a video on this printer where I did something a little different. Instead of just setting it on the bench and printing with it, I painted it, I weathered it, I lit it, and I turned it into a full dystopian building, and then I shot a scene like it's a sci-fi film. And that was almost a year ago, and for this video, I did it again. With rain, smoke, sound design, flying cars, the whole thing. That video was really about creativity though, and that's because when I first saw this machine, I saw it really as a blank canvas. But this video is more about why a $279 Core XY machine even exists in our industry right now, and who this machine is exactly for. And yes, Elegoo is also running a giveaway tied to this video, so if you want a chance to win, I'll have details at the end of the video. One thing that matters immediately with this printer is how it's built. Elegoo didn't go with thin sheet metal or a stack of aluminum extrusions here. The Centauri Carbon uses integrated die cast aluminum components for the top frame and the chassis joined together in a rigid structure. These are large cast sections, not a bunch of small pieces that are screwed together. That matters because rigidity is what allows speed to exist without turning into noise, vibration, and lost accuracy. This printer runs a true Core XY motion system with rated speeds marketed at up to 500 millimeters per second. And of course, recommended speeds are gonna be the usual around 250 millimeters per second. And also acceleration that can reach 20,000 millimeters per second squared. Pretty common, we see this a lot. Now, default accelerations sit at about 10,000, which is pretty common in our industry, And uh, but I think that that's actually pretty aggressive for a machine in this price range. A lot of printers claim high speed. Very few are actually built in a way that supports it, and this one is. Printing accuracy is marketed and rated at about plus or minus 0.1 millimeters, and that kind of lines up with the industry and what you'd expect on a rigid Core XY platform that isn't, you know, twisting under load. And that speed and performance only matters if the extrusion system can keep up. And the Centauri Carbon really doesn't have a problem with that. It has a dual gear direct drive extruder that's capable of pushing up to 32 cubic millimeters per second of material. And that's not just for beginners, experts, be quite happy with that as well. It means thicker layer lines when you want them. It also means faster prints without starving the nozzle, and it means consistency when you're pushing those harder materials. Layer heights, of course, like any of the common Core XY machines out there right now, are gonna range from 0.1 to about 0.4 millimeters, uh, with 0.2 millimeters being kind of like that sweet spot. It's the one that we print with the most, uh, which lines up again, like I said, it's at, with, with what's common in industry and with how people are printing. I don't know exactly where they got the name carbon from, but this printer is actually designed to handle carbon fiber and glass fiber reinforced filaments, and it shows. For the longest time, almost every machine on the market defaulted to the same 300-100 combo. That's 300C on the hot end and 100C on the bed. With the Centauri Carbon, you've got a 320 degree hot end and a heated bed that can reach 110 degrees Celsius. It's kind of nice to see that little bump in specs on such a budget-friendly priced machine. And of course, because of the glass fiber and carbon fiber potential here, it does come with a hardened steel nozzle, a fully enclosed chamber, and a pretty solid cooling system. Now that means that you're gonna be printing all of your favorite filaments, uh, of course, PLAs, PTG, um, ABS, ASA, uh, flexible filaments like TPU. Uh, you can even get away with uh, printing uh, PET, uh, PC, it's polycarbonate, um, and PA, so nylons, and uh, in any of those with the uh, fiber reinforced blends. So it's not just for decorative prints, but functional parts that actually need strength and some heat resistance. Now this is the kind of capability that you usually see in printers priced much higher. 
Another thing that Elegoo absolutely nailed here is the out-of-box experience, and you've heard me talk about that a lot. The, the purchase, unboxing, and first print experience is so important. The Centauri Carbon comes fully assembled out of the box, and of course it has full calibration, and it even has a massive 121 point bed leveling process. It has a filament runout sensor, it supports power loss recovery, and of course it has, you know, auto uh, filament loading and unloading. It's simple. You turn it on, it calibrates itself, and it just gets out of the way and lets you be creative. And that matters more than people think, especially if you're someone who wants to just create and not constantly tune or tinker. The build volume is 256 millimeters cubed, and that kind of puts it right there in that ideal middle ground. If you've been around 3D printing for a while, there are a lot of machines in that mid-range um, at that size. It's big enough for real projects, small enough that it lives on your studio kind of workspace bench and doesn't really take up too much space. The build plate is a double-sided steel sheet with textured PEI on one side and a PLA-specific surface on the other. The build plate's flexible, it's removable, it's practical, it's the kind of thing you really don't think about until you use like a really bad plate. But to be honest with you, I have not seen a really bad build plate in a long time, so I'm kind of glad we're past that. Elegoo also didn't ignore the usability side. You've got a 4.3 inch color touch screen. Um, it works, it looks good, no complaints at all. Um, Elegoo's always kind of had a really nice and simple user interface on their entire line of printers. So it's, it's nothing out of the norm. Kind of expect it to just work. Connectivity for the printing process? Well, it's USB if you want to do sneaker net, and of course it connects to Wi-Fi like you'd expect. And slicer support isn't locked down, so a lot of people are excited about that. You can use any mainstream slicer that you want, so definitely jump into Orca and have at it. There's also a built-in chamber camera, which acts as your eyes inside the printer and supports time lapses, of course. And that's kind of nice, especially for me, because I can't see in mine anymore. <laughs> You've got LED lighting on the inside, which is nice, near silent motor drivers on all axes, and it has triple Z lead screws with linear guide rods. That's kind of cool. And of course the machine comes in, I guess, sound wise at under 55 decibels, according to Elegoo. And that is gonna matter a lot for people that kind of live in the same space as their printer. Uh, when it's running, I really don't even notice it. And even with all of the stuff that I have glued to this machine, it still prints amazingly well and it doesn't shake everything off. That has to mean something. So who is this printer for? This is for someone who wants real Core XY performance on a budget, but this is far from a budget machine, so saying that may not really be fair. The Centauri Carbon is for anyone who wants to print faster and explore some stronger materials. It's for creatives who don't want a fragile machine dictating what they can or can't do. And it's for people who are looking to get the most value out of their dollar. Who it's not for is someone looking for multicolor or printing with a fully automated filament or material system. This is a single color printing machine, but it's honest about that. Now, it would be disingenuous to not mention the Centauri Carbon II that everyone expects will hit the market shortly. Now, I have a fantastic relationship with Elegoo. In fact, a lot of people thought Elegoo would cancel me for spray painting their brand new machine when it was released, but I'm still here. I'm not going to talk about that new Centauri Carbon 2 here. You'll have to wait for my content. But even with a new machine right around the corner, it doesn't mean that we have to end of life machines like this. It's such a solid platform, and if I'm being direct, it's one of those machines that I think everyone should have, and I expect that people will be printing with this machine for many years to come. In fact, if you have a Centauri Carbon, drop a comment below, because I suspect a lot of you actually do already have this machine, and let me know. What you think of it? You know, these videos actually get a little weird for me sometimes. I'm so used to seeing this machine in the studio and I talk about it on our live streams, but then I remember that I only shared it in a single YouTube video, which being honest, isn't enough. I really need to do a better job at coming back and talking about the machines I think that are making a difference in our industry. So if you're up for it, let me know in the comments and uh, if you want me to come back and revisit machines or just do a single video and move on. I don't know. Let me know. If you came here for the giveaway details, awesome. Elegoo originally reached out to me about a Black Friday giveaway, but I was just too busy. So then they reached out to me about a Christmas giveaway, but again, way too busy. 
but I felt bad. One, for not being able to help and share such a cool machine, but also I love that I get to be a part of giving someone the chance to experience this level of creativity for themselves. Now, if you want a chance to enter or win, all of the details are in the description below, and I'll try and pin a comment uh, with the link uh, to that information as well. But however you want to use it, stock, customized, or turned into something completely insane, like mine, that part is up to you. Good luck. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Um, and also, YouTube. Which one? Over here? Maybe over here? I'll put it over here. YouTube wants you to watch this video. Go check it out. It's a good one. I know, because I made it.